Welcome back to the ITS online training. In the past few lessons, we've become acquainted with the interface, we've seen how to create and populate a data file, and then we've moved on to more complex ideas such as descriptive statistics, test of significance, and we've also worked with three different types of regression. Now, let's begin our fourth and final PASW Statistics 17 online training. Let's go ahead and begin with a brief explanation about the chi-square test we're going to submit. This particular statistical test is going to be used when you're working with either nominal or ordinal scales of measurement. So what are these two types of measurements? Well, nominal measurements are used when you're working with names such as males and females. Now, at the ordinal level, that's when you're dealing with different rankings of items such as dislike, neutral, or like. This particular non-parametric test is going to examine the differences in your cases and it's going to let you know if the random variables that you're working with are independent of one another. Also, it's going to be used to determine how well your observation matches your expectations. For this particular test, we're going to break it up into three different chi-square analysis and let's go ahead and begin with the first one now. To aid in comprehension, we have a real life example on how this test would be used. Hypothetically, there is a hospital that schedules discharge support staff, assuming that patients leave the hospital at a fairly constant rate throughout the week. But due to an increasing number of complaints of staff shortages throughout the entire hospital, the administration wants to determine whether the number of discharges varies by the day of the week. What we would like to determine is this. Can the hospital schedule discharge support staff evenly throughout the week? Before we run any chi-squared analysis, the very first thing that we have to do is weigh the cases. Essentially what this means is we're going to tell PASW which one of our variables are going to constitute our observed values. To begin, ensure that you have your Chi Hospital data file open, then click on the data menu. Then click Weight Cases. In the Weight Cases dialog box, select the Weight Cases by radio button. Select the average daily discharge variable. Use the transfer arrow to move that variable into your frequency variables list box. Then, select the OK button. 